You know, I was thinking the other day, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long while since we've really seen anybody talk about Mr. Mulvaney on their channels, right? We haven't seen too many videos as of late. And I don't blame them. I really don't, because constantly talking about this man must burn a hole in your wallet for constantly buying migraine tablets. Luckily, luckily, I have the power to block the b out of my mind. So I decided to do the classic thing, right, of looking at these people when nobody is paying attention to them. Because in my opinion, that's when they're at their very worst. So applying this well, well thought out philosophical theory, I decided to check out Mr. Mulvaney's TikTok and lo and behold, the Ponzi scheme, the scam, the rug pull continues to grow. He is at what? 9.3 million followers on TikTok. That means there are 9.3 million people who are completely lost because if you still believe in this sort of thing, there is no hope for you in the real world whatsoever. Well, then you are lost. As we all know, ladies and gentlemen, many companies at this point have endorsed Dylan Mulvaney. Many companies have sent Dylan Mulvaney their products for him to promote. I mean, even the White House decided to endorse this man. That's the level we're at today. So in our very first TikTok that I want to show you, I know you're eager to see it, Dylan Mulvaney shares the emotional story in a brand deal about his first winter, his first winter season as a woman. <laughs> Take a look. There is a 100% chance that it is currently cold out. It's my first winter season as a woman, and it's also the first winter that I have boobies. Yeah, shut up, will you? Yeah? Sorry. I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. Sorry, Shut yeah. up. So you bet your bottom dollar I'm going to do everything in my power to take care of them. So I'm using the EOS Shea Better 24 Hour Moisture Body Lotion on my new gal pals and my whole body. You know, taking estrogen has made my skin a lot more sensitive. So the seven nourishing oils and butters keep it feeling nice and moisturized without feeling greasy. And I especially love that I smell like vanilla cashmere. I mean, who wouldn't want their breasts to smell like vanilla cashmere? So take care of your boobies and your skin with EOS. Love ya! This actually pains me to rewatch. This is going to pain me to edit in Adobe Premiere because not only am I watching, are we watching the greatest impersonator known to a man. Yeah, that gender that doesn't exist anymore. We have a man <laughs> on TikTok squeezing his breasts for everybody to see, imagine a kid coming across this and thinking, what the? The worst thing is, right, as I mentioned earlier, the people that follow this man are lost, but the comment section, right, is absolutely insane, and I think some of these people need genuine help. Take a look at this. Dylan, at 45, I've gotta say, I'm so proud, wait, she's 45. I'm so proud of your excitement and love for life. I love this new world, XOXO. <laughs> Well, I'm glad somebody is finding enjoyment in this new world. I'm not reading any more comments because they're all the same and brain damage wasn't on the agenda today, okay? Now, I know you all remember those first viral TikToks of Dylan Mulvaney that hit our screens all over social media. You know, the ones when he was in heels and pretending to be a girl and falling over and at the same time embarrassing the female gender. Well, those sort of videos, the theme of those videos continues still to this day on his page because, well, Dylan Mulvaney was lucky enough to go to a restaurant and apparently after he had eaten, the waiter, it, it wasn't a waiter, it was probably his friend, decided to video him in the gardens of hell. Take a look. The thing is, right, this man still doesn't understand how to act like a woman because, well, he, he's not a woman and he'll never know how to be a woman. But you've spent 300 days pretending to be one. I would have thought by now you would have had at least some skill, amateur skills, right? No. I mean, even the people around you, surely they must have been teaching you, hey, Dylan, this is how you walk. Is it? Because you've been, you've been hanging around people like Chris Jenner. Surely she would have said something, no? Probably not, because they all love this crap. I just feel quite ashamed I have to share the same planet as this dude. And I, watching this back, feel even more sorry for women now. 
Because let's just think of the feminists right now. Imagine all the hard work they think they've been doing has been thrown away, has been just cast to the side because you now have to accept that a man, that gender that you don't like, is now a woman and can have the same rights as you. And if you don't, you're a turf. <laughs> They've just cast you out. You don't, you don't mean anything now. Oh, no, 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 no. Waste of time, wasn't it? And still right now, there are people out there who think I'm joking about all of the stuff I'm saying, right? There'll be somebody watching saying, ah, oh, it's not that bad, probably from England because we don't recognize how bad it is. But if the White House endorsing this man wasn't bad enough, if that didn't click in your mind, society as a whole has now, well, given this man the entitlement, the status that he wants. Because even in Bora Bora, this man went to Bora Bora, yes, they have classed him as a celebrity. So I'm having dinner at this amazing restaurant called Bloody Mary's in Bora Bora, and out front they have a sign with all the celebrities that have eaten here, and I come out and they added my name to the wall! Right under Snoop Dogg was here last week! Oh my god, who needs a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame when you got your name on the, the wall at Bloody Mary's in Bora Bora? Even in Bora Bora, the propaganda has spread. It has spread that fast. You know what, when I turn up to Bora Bora, I really hope, I'm, I'm gonna go to this cafe, wherever it is, you best believe me, I really hope they scrub out all the names there and rewrite them and put my name at the very top. Okay, because something needs to be done about this. I mean, Bora Bora just allowed this mermaid, that's the caption, to swim about in their sea. Hey, can you call your mom and ask if we can play mermaids? You know, after watching that in your very own waters, I I'm surprised nobody decided to uh, deport the man because I probably would. But no, we're all supposed to believe this is what women are now. The future of women is here, ladies and gentlemen. If this is the future of women, I I'll tell you now, I will stay single forever. And that's a massive disservice to the female gender. So can we, <laughs> can we please just go back to normal, please? Because I'm tired of seeing this man everywhere absolutely everywhere. I didn't want to, I, I feel sorry for the children that have to watch this on their For You page, right? I, I genuinely do because there's going to be boys and girls who watch this and start to get confused and think to themselves, well, hey, maybe if I'm like this, then I'll get all those brand deals. Hey, maybe I should just check. Whew. Insanity. Who would have thought, huh? You got out, Grace. Babe, you flew away. And hey, those people in there, they don't define us. I mean, family, we don't have to keep them around if we don't want to, but I got you. Yeah, shut up, will you? Sorry. I really f mean that from the bottom of my heart. Sorry, shut Kat. up. But ladies and gentlemen, there we have Dylan Mulvaney and what he's up to to this day. I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the sacrifice I made. I'm still alive. I'm still breathing. Thank the Lord. If you have enjoyed today's video, then please for me, make sure to leave a like rating if you're new. Hit that big red subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. I just want to give a quick thank you to everybody who is supporting this channel, right? Anybody that's still here, you. If you like this video, if you watch this video, if you like any of my videos or watch my videos, thank you so much. Even if it's one person, because you, you just help me achieve my dreams, man. And I really do thank you because I need to combat the nightmares that are going on in this world. And I'm talking to you, Mr. Mulvaney. But anyway... Until next time, that has been your boy JD. Please, for me, make sure to always, always have a great day and stay safe. I'm out. Peace. See you next time.